Input the destination time. 1955 part two. 1985 alternative. 2015. 1955. 1985. If you're gonna shoot the ball, why not do it with some skill? Welcome to my latest experiment. This is the big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Good evening, I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. This is what makes time travel possible. The Flux Capacitor. The, uh, we're the pinheads. This sucker's electrical, but I need a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. Doc! You're the doc, Doc. Got that thing hooked up to the car. What's this? Not me, the car, the car! <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! Temporal displacement occurred exactly 1.20 a.m. at zero seconds! Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty, I didn't disintegrate anything! Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? We just bought us some time! The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? This is heavy. If you're gonna shoot the ball, why not do it with some skill? Makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. If you're gonna shoot the ball, why not do it with some skill?
is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Out of time multiball. It's a DeLorean, right? This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Out of time multiball! Jackpot! The flux capacitor. Shoot the ball, why not do it with some skill? What? What? 21 gigawatts! Great Scott! What the hell is a gigawatt?
Marty, you made it! Input the destination time. 1985 alternative. 1955 part two. 1985 alternative. No, this can't be happening. I'm afraid it is happening, Marty, all of it. Shark still looks fake. <laughs>